Hi everyone, my name is Jim Caskeet and this is Connect with Jim, the show where you ask questions about preteen ministry and I answer them. <clears throat> what are preteen ministry pitfalls that I should avoid? Great question. Let's talk about a few. Pitfall number one. Put your preteens in the same space as the little kids. No. Who are the little kids? Whoever your preteens label as little kids. And what happens when you combine these apples and oranges? Well, well the, the little kids might like it, and you'll probably even be blown away by the way they suddenly grow up around these older kids. But your preteens, they will likely act out and disengage. So, keep your preteens with their peers. This will allow them to ask honest questions and engage with honest responses. It will let them connect with one another in deep and meaningful ways. It lets them embrace their inner little kid and lean into their emerging adolescent. You see, I'm all for multi-age and intergenerational spaces, but sometimes just gotta let preteens be preteens with other preteens. Pitfall number two. Treat your preteens like little kids. Maybe this is just my own personal philosophy, but I believe that people rise to whatever bar you set for them. The goldfish grows to the size of whatever bowl you put them in. And if you give your preteens a little kid curriculum and ask them little kid questions, you're gonna end up with a little kid faith. Now, I'm not saying you enroll them in seminary classes, but I am saying that you get to know them where they are and engage them where they're going. We don't call them post-kids, we call them pre-teens. Invite them to lean into where they're going, not just where they've been. Ask them questions that make them think. Give them resources that require them to reach a bit and stick with them every step and stumble along the way. And then get ready for their lives and our whole world to be changed as a result. And pitfall number three. Forget that preteens still have a little bit of little kid inside of them. Yes, it might sound like I'm contradicting my last point, but stick with me because there's a subtle and intentional nuance here. I often describe the difference between preteens and junior high students like this. Preteens think you're pretty cool. Junior high students, they think they're pretty much cooler than you and everybody else. Junior high students, when they get together, they want to hang out. But preteens, they are still okay just getting together to play. And that last word is key when working with preteens, and to be honest, when working with pretty much everybody. Play. We fill our lives with work and with deadlines, with to-do lists, and with self-producing stress machines. And preteens, they can feel this in the air around them. And many of them might already be swept up into a life of schedules and rehearsals and this and that and go and go and go. And so one of the greatest gifts that you can give them is space just to play. Space to embrace the little kid that lives just below the surface of their being. And when you dive in and play with them, you just might find yourself embracing your inner child as well. So there you have it. Three pitfalls and how to avoid them. Now go out there and spend some time with the preteens from your church. Oh, and before I go, we would love to hear your preteen ministry stories. Tell us your best and your worst and your absolutely most hilarious moments in your ministry with this amazing age group. Leave your thoughts and your ideas in a comment below or post them on your favorite social media platform using the hashtag connectwithjim so we can all follow along. Sound good? I can't wait to read them.